All right. So hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Jessica, and I'm a counselor at Education Basket. Today, we are very excited about this webinar that we have organized in partnership with Domus Academy Milano, a design school in Italy. My guest today is Paola Romano, who is Domus Academy's enrollment and admissions specialist for the Middle East, Europe, and Africa regions. Paola will be giving us more information about Domus Academy and its programs, and will also be announcing the terms and conditions for the portfolio-based scholarship competition we are holding with the university. Um, there will be time allocated at the end of the webinar in order um, to answer any of your questions. So if you do have any questions, feel free to write them in the chat box for us to read at the end. Uh, you can also uh, note that uh, we have sent you the terms and conditions uh, of the scholarship via email, so you can also check that out for more information. Uh, this webinar is also being recorded, so you will be able to find the recording uh, on our website and our YouTube channel within the next few days. Um, so I will go ahead and give the floor to you, Paula, so you can tell us more about Domus Academy and this exciting opportunity. Okay then, so thank you very much for everyone who decided to join to this webinar. Um, I'm currently in the office, so that's why you see me masked, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I, I'm here to introduce you a little bit to Domus Academy, so to give you some information on our programs, on who we are and how we teach. And then uh, towards the end, you will see also the information on the Call for Talents competition we do, uh, we, we are launching uh, together with Education Basket um, in order to, you know, uh, award uh, one of the students uh, participating. Uh, so I will share my screen. I think you can see it, right? Yes. I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, first, yeah. Uh, first off, um, we do have a video of presentation. It's very small. It gives you a couple of facts um, and numbers on the school and our. <laughs> Okay then, so a couple of facts and figures you've seen in the video, well, we will definitely talk about some of these things more in detail, uh, so I will show you more closely, but as you can see it's um, a school for mainly for networking, our um, courses, all of them are postgraduate courses, so after possibly um, ABA from our students. Um, and it's a master very much oriented towards practicality. Um, so that's why we usually keep our approach. But again, I will talk about it more in detail later. So a little bit of introduction. Uh, Domus Academy was founded in 1982. Uh, back in the day, it was um, a postgraduate school for fashion and design, mainly. Uh, right now, we have different kind of programs, 11 masters and other uh, shorter programs that I will illustrate quickly later. Uh, but uh, this year, we have been selected among the first the top five university in Italy um, and in the first 150 in the world in the art and design field, um, thanks to QS, uh, QS ranking. Um, to, uh, throughout the years, apart from the ranking in um, QS, uh, we have 
also received a couple of Compasso d'Oro. Um, so it was in the design field, knows uh, this prize quite well. Um, we've also been um, um, awarded a special badge um, from BOF, so the business of fashion. So we've been, um, you know, working quite well <laughs> uh, in the past 40 years and still going strong uh, with our programs. Now, uh, just to give you an introduction on our programs, as I was saying before, uh, our programs are all postgraduate programs, and we do have four different areas involved when it comes to the master's program, uh, the design area, uh, experience area, business area, and fashion area. Um, you will see that we actually have two kind of masters now. One is the academic master and the other one is the double award master program. I will illustrate to you the difference um, later, uh, but just keep in mind this info because it's kind of important and especially the double award, it's a very new program. In the area of design, we have three masters. One is the master in product design, the other one is a master in interior and living design. And last but not least, it's a master in urban vision and architectural design. First two masters are kind of straightforward to explain. One is product design and the other is interior design. Last one, it's a master that actually focuses both on the architectural, let's say design, but also on the urban landscaping and urban planning. So it's a very particular master. Uh, it attracts usually uh, quite a few Lebanese students uh, because there are kind of very good design schools in Lebanon anyway. We have a very good alumni community there and some, most of them are entering into the design area anyway. <laughs> Uh, then um, to jump to the second area we do have is the experience area, which is a very emerging field, especially the master in interaction design and service design are super uh, requested when it comes to job positions. Um, and last but not least is the master in visual brand design, which is we like to describe it simply like a master, which is a mixture between graphic design and business design. Um, following the, the experience areas, we have the business area with the master in business design. And please do not think about it like an MBA because it's not an MBA. It's not really about numbers. It's more um, a strategic master when it comes to developing strategies uh, for uh, startups or established brands. So it's a very strategic master again. And last on the, the second one in the business area is the luxury brand management. So as the word says, helps students managing luxury brands. Uh, similar to the luxury brand management, we have the master in fashion management, even if it's part of the fashion area. But as luxury, it's more general and focuses on different kind of luxury brands, not only fashion brands, but hotelry, food and beverage, jewelry, whatever you can think of about luxury brands. Fashion management only focuses on fashion brands, both high-end brands, but also, let's say, normal and standard brands. Uh, apart from the fashion management, the other two masters in the fashion area are fashion styling and visual merchandising. So also this is a very particular master because focuses both on fashion styling and visual merchandising, which is us usually, let's say, another kind of master kept separate, but we like for our students to work on both aspects during the master. And then last but not least, the master in fashion design. That is pretty straightforward as a master to explain. So these are our 11 different masters. Again, you will see there is a difference between the academic master and the double award master. But again, I will explain a little bit um, better later. Just to mention the other programs we do have, we have short courses. The short courses are four weeks and are online, 60 hours of courses. Then we have the semester courses, which are not six months, actually, but three months and a half. And students do work together for the first part with the master students. So again, 
postgraduate program anyway, even if you're just doing a shorter program. Last, uh, it's the combined program um, in which students have the possibility to attend a preparatory program to prepare themselves at their best when entering the campus and preparing to the interdisciplinary approach. Okay, then, uh, so uh, when it comes to um, uh, the new program we do have, as I was mentioning before, we have a double award master program, which gives the student the possibility of getting at the same time one academic master, the one validated by the Italian Minister of Education, and the Master of Arts degree, which is validated by the UK system through Regents University of London. So there is the, just to recap, there is the academic master program, which is the only Italian validated one, but also the possibility with the double of getting the academic master, but also the Master of Arts. Just to give you more differences, what you see on the left is the academic master program, which is 11 months, 11 to 12 months, depending on when the students start. The accreditation, it's an Italian accreditation, so by the Italian Ministry of Education, and gives you 60 ACTS. The double gives you the academic, again, plus the Master of Arts, which gives you 90 ACTS, and it's accredited by the by Regents University of London, so with a UK accreditation. And it's longer because it is 14 months, usually 13 to 15, depending on the intake, on the starting date of the intake. When it comes, uh, I was mentioning actually intakes, that's a nice info to give. We do have three intakes each year. One is in September, November, and then February. So every intake, we do start three times. This means that the students do meet not only with their colleagues of their masters, but also with the colleague of the same master, but of a different intake, because we do have a circular approach. So when, for example, November students start the first module, um, it will be the second module for the September student. So they meet, same, their third module will be the first one for the February intake students. So everyone meets, <laughs> no sense. Another important info I can give you is that we do have students coming from all over the world, really. So from 41 different countries, it's a very, um, it's a very, it's a panorama which is very interesting because English, it's the only language you will speak. <laughs> uh, so the percentage of European students in Italian student is limited. So this gives you the certainty that uh, the, um, the mastery will be completely in English. Especially it's very interesting to see what comes out of people with different ideas, different values and different backgrounds. So that's super interesting also. Now, what you see here in this slide, is the structure of the academic master. So the Italian validated master. It is divided in five modules. The first four modules are composed by two weeks of theoretical courses, and then from four to six weeks of workshops. And the workshops, they are projects in collaboration with brands and companies. So how it works is that we have someone from the company coming to Domus Academy, giving the brief to the students. Then the students are divided in small groups from two to five people, usually. And during this four to six weeks, they work on the project. They have revisions. They are followed by our mentors and professors. And uh, they need to complete the project in order to be on time with the deadline, obviously. And the project is presented also to the brands and the companies involved. As I was saying, the first four modules, this is how they are divided. So two weeks of theoretical classes and from four to six 
weeks of workshops. The first two modules, the um, workshop is mandatory for the master that you choose. So depending on which of the 11 master you go for, you will have two mandatory workshops, very specific to your master, obviously. While the third one is elective. This means that you guys could choose a workshop from another master. So let's say that you have a different background, but you want to enter in a specific master and you miss your background. <laughs> Why not? So you could integrate a workshop from that field, or if you have different interests and would like to branch out a little bit and learn new things and learn new skills, you can definitely integrate a different workshop. Obviously, a fashion design student won't have an interior design workshop. That's impossible. But they could stay, for example, in the fashion area and choosing something from fashion management, for example, in order for them to have the more business approach uh, to their fashion design line, let's say. Fourth workshop is the final one. And one part of it, it's individual. This means that you will work on a single aspect of the project, work vertically on it alone in this case. Um, so it's more individual in this case. Fifth module, and it's mandatory for all of our students, is the curricular internship. So students are required for two months to do an internship in one of the brands and companies and studios we do collaborate with. So in this case, we actually have a career service which helps our students find the internship. So depending on what would you like to do after and which are your interests and where would you like to go after the master, they find for you the internship which is most appropriate and goes towards that direction as much as possible. Then obviously the students do have interviews with the company. So the company also needs to like you. Uh, but um, again, it's a master for networking because you will meet four different companies in the workshops, plus another company or another brand on the studio in the internship part plus all the events we do launch uh, when it comes to helping you find a job later. Uh, like for example, the Design Marathon, which is an event we launch once a year, usually with a very big company. Uh, two years ago, we did it with Google. The year before it was with Braybuck. So usually they're big companies and students for 48 hours do work on a single project and just on that day and night and uh, they need to automate the project and present it in, the, in those two days. It's a very eclectic time to be at school but that's super interesting anyway. Um, a couple of students sleep deprived and haven't eaten, no, I'm joking, but <laughs> that's how it goes usually. Um, so. Um, then, uh, actually, uh, as you can see here, this is the structure for the students attending the double award master. So you probably have noticed the structure is the same up until the fifth module. In fact, students do work together up until the fourth module then each one that does, his, does its own internship. But then double award students have a couple of modules more. One is the module six, which is the final degree project, which is definitely more theoretical than practical uh, because students need to write a thesis. That's what they need to do. And then another module, which is actually spread throughout all the year. It's called critical and creative framework in which uh, the students are given three main themes and topics and they need to analyze them so to go a lot more in detail. Um, and obviously every student will do it in its own field. So because it will be shared among all the students, all the master students, but every student will work accordingly to their master it's very possible that one of these three topics becomes uh, the uh, project, the final degree project part. So um, in this more blue part, let's say, in the part of the double award master, 
um, the uh, the path it's more theoretical because at the end of the day you're getting a master of arts which is more academic and uh, you will work with mentors professors uh, lecturers you will have peer-to-peer -peer review so you are followed very closely Keep in mind, Domus Academy doesn't have, um, um, it's, a, it's a, let's say, a very um, small school in a sense that you will not be in a class where there are 12,000 other students. You, the classes are quite small because we like to keep the approach very personal. So you will be followed very closely and especially there will be more possibilities also for internship and for job possibilities. So the internship is guaranteed. It's mandatory and guaranteed. All of our students do the internship. So 100% of internship rate. After the master, we actually have a very good placement rate, which is of 95% within one year graduation. So that's a very good percentage. And it shows you how good we do with the networking part for our students. Here are some of the companies we do, uh, we have collaborated with in the past. So as you can see, some of them are fashion brands like Trussardi, like Timberland, um, Moncler. Then we have different mass, diff, sorry, different brands, more business oriented, like could be Coca-Cola. Uh, then we have uh, um, brands in the design field, like Fontana Arte. We have collaborated a lot with Cartel in the past, Aless, Inatuzzi. Uh, more interaction, let's say, uh, based brands like Cisco and Condé Nast. And, you know, a lot of other brands, depending on how many collaboration we're able to activate with them. But students, I have to say, are very happy about the collaboration we do open for them and the possibilities we do open for them after the master also. So, okay. Here is where I explain to you a little bit more what, how we help you achieving the 95% of employment rates. Uh, this is because you, again, you're followed very, uh, very closely uh, by our career service and by our program leader. So you will have individual counseling always with them, understanding where you want to go, what you want to do, and they help you. Um, then we have these sessions called career gyms, uh, career gym, sorry, in which we help you and we prepare you to uh, prepare a better CV and portfolio to present to your, um, you know, to your job position, to your internship positions you're achieving. And um, we also launch what we call the career days in which we invite a certain number of brands and companies to campus and all of our students to present their CV and their portfolio. Apart from all the other events like the Connecting the Dots, we have been hosting mainly online at this present moment because we have students working all over the world telling us their experience, how they did in Domus Academy. This is what I was saying before. So um, individual meeting with the program leader to help you understand where you would like to go after. Uh, these are what I was talking about, the career gym sessions. Um, so they are usually lectures that dedicated to our students with program leaders, but also professionals and entrepreneurs and alumni in order to help you, again, so CV, portfolio, soft skills, and uh, prepare you to uh, attend an interview. These are the career days, so where we invite the brand and the company to meet you, possibly. And then, uh, obviously, you guys are helped by our very strong career service. Uh, just imagine how many students we have and how many internships they activate. So they are a war machine, in a sense, when it comes to finding all the collaborations we do have. 
these are the connecting the dots webinar so with our former alumni who have been doing um, their path and they've been doing their things after the end of the master some of them have created their own brand their own company their own um, firm also uh, some of them become consultant for other companies so depending on which are their experience we have invited them to tell them to us to take references also <laughs> plus another service we do offer to our students is the access to a platform which will be available for our students and it's available only for our students and alumni in where um, in which sorry the career service publishes uh, new opportunities they can find uh, all the events the initiatives the collaboration that they uh, work on and they can find for our students Okay, then. <laughs> I don't know if there are questions. In case there are, please stop me because I go on forever. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, I'm almost finished. So on, hang on, <laughs> let's say. Um, I, but if there are questions, feel free to, to stop me. No problem, absolutely. Okay, then. Uh, so I have been in this past years in contact with, with students. Okay, so I also speak with my students and they always ask me, but yes, but why should I choose Domus Academy? Obviously choosing a master, it's an investment. It's a big choice. And our master are actually very specializing. Uh, so it's, it's also a career decision, a very important career decision. Uh, what, what I usually tell them is that uh, we are a very good um, academy in Milan. We're very well ranked. Um, thanks to QS now, it's official, let's say, um, but uh, also the fact that students do have this big possibility of uh, getting at the same time two masters, it's very um, interesting for your CV because you could really put on your CV that you got the academic master and the master of arts at the same time uh, with two different accreditations. So that's also plus, also because the UK accreditation, it's well considered worldwide for the master of arts, I mean. Second thing that do students do like a lot is the fact that they can customize their experience, especially with the third module. And especially because when we launch a workshop, it's very possible that we make it start with more master involved. So that there is this cross disciplinarity we like a lot and our students can work on a more uh, general brief, let's say with more people involved, with people with different backgrounds. So you not only can, um, in a sense, learn from the school, but also from your colleagues at the same time. Um, what we like to say also, and um, unfortunately it's cut from my banner, but uh, it's what we like to claim is that we are the most visionary postgraduate design school. This is because in our project, we challenge our students to create uh, uh, something that doesn't exist yet, but not only, maybe thinking out of the box and um, um, of facing some future scenarios with, that we still don't see because we're always focused on the now, uh, but we challenge them to um, create something that's disruptive, it's new, it's innovative, in order also to be a better uh, professional, you know, prepared for what will come. And what I was telling to you about is the network part. So you will have a lot of career connections. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities to join this very global network with more than 25,000 alumni all around the world who are working in their own field. So it's always a networking experience. That's definitely uh, what I tell to other students is that we do have a lot of opportunities of putting yourself in the spotlight. It's up to you to take them all up, obviously. Okay, then, last part. <laughs> uh, so I have finished the part on the program. I don't know if you guys have some question before I jump in the rest. I think there is no question, right? Okay. 
no problem. No problem, absolutely. In case you do have, feel free to write them. We will help you um, with that. But this means I've explained quite well. So this, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, feel free to ask whatever. Um, so uh, let's come to the fun part. We have decided and we have partnered with Education Basket to launch a portfolio-based competition. Uh, so we have been having a lot of Lebanese students uh, we love them because they're very good. They come from a very good university. We prepare them very well uh, when they come and when they arrive here, they're very brilliant, and very prepared. So we have decided to um, award uh, one 30% scholarship of the total of the tuition fee for both the double award master program or the academic programs, depending on what the students want to choose, starting February 2nd of 2022. So for the next upcoming intake, I will show you in the other slide, which are the documents to present for this. But guys, this is a good possibility um, it to also show how talented you are and to be part of Domus Academy. So. Uh, we hope to receive a lot of students and to, you know, have a look at their candidacy and award this, this scholarship for the master coming here. Um, the deadline, just to give you a couple of more technical information, uh, the deadline is November 26th. So within November 26th, you guys have a little bit more than one month. It's important to deliver all the documents to info at educationbasket.com. Jessica will definitely maybe explain to you a little bit better, but that's the general info. And then students will be um, told about the results on December 10th via email. So you guys will be informed. Now, passing to, again, a little bit more technical stuff. This is the material we do require. So application form, which um, Education Basket will provide you uh, once uh, you have decided that you want to participate. Then we ask uh, in order to evaluate your profile for your CV, motivational letter, but also the portfolio of projects. Please notice that it's not mandatory for the master in business design, fashion management, luxury brand management, and service design. In the case of these masters, what we will do is we will evaluate your CV and motivation letter mainly, okay? While for the other master is mandatory to have the, the, the portfolio because the skills are very important to access the master. Apart from this more um, creative documents, uh, we will also ask you to provide us with your bachelor degree or if you're not graduated yet, um, a certificate of expected graduation. Um, these transcripts, partial or um, complete in case you're finished or not. We will ask you for the copy of passport simply and two reference letters if you are applying for the double award master. Please notice the reference letters are not necessary if you're applying for the academic master. Another requirement we ask for is the English, uh, but please, there are a couple of things I need to explain on the English, so hold on. But technically, what we ask for is IELTS 5.0 or equivalent for the academic master or an IELTS 5.5 for the double award master or equivalent, I mean. Uh, please, uh, when, if, and when you decide to apply, ask for the application form, because in the last pages of the application form, you can see all the equivalences and all the certificates accepted, because the academic master definitely accepts more certificate than the double award because the double award accepts mainly British English certificates. So we're talking about IELTS, we're, we're talking about Cambridge, Trinity and Parsons. I think that's it. While the academic master accepts more. If you have studied your BA completely in English and you have graduated less than two years ago, 
that's okay for us. No need to present the English certificate. What we will ask you is for a certificate from your university, the transcript, whatever, where it's written that the medium of instruction was English. Okay, but I know this is very common in Lebanon. There are some English uh, BAs. In that case, no need to present the English certificate if you graduated less than two years ago. Last but not least, and this is only for the service design master, it's an essay. Uh, and you will find more info on what, the, is, what is required from the, the essay in the application form. So feel free, in case, in case you're interested in service design, to have a look at it because it's a, a, a small essay, but it's necessary for the service design master. Um, OK, guys. So I don't know if you do have questions on the materials. Uh, it looks like there are no further questions right now. OK, no problem. So in case you do, oops, sorry, in case you do have, feel free to shoot an email uh, to Education Basket. They will help you. And then we will be always in contact. So if you have questions, they can refer to me and uh, back and forth, let's say. <laughs> yeah, so I also just want to remind everyone in case they want to apply for this um, uh, scholarship, uh, all you need to do is send us the documents at our email info at education-basket.com. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, we did send you um, an email with these requirements, so you will be able to find the email and the requirements uh, in your inbox, um, but I'm also going to share them here now, just in case. Uh, so what I'm going to do is share our contact details, including our email and WhatsApp number. And in case any of you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask us directly. Um, so I don't know if anyone still has any questions about, again, how to submit uh, the scholarship application or anything uh, about the master's programs at Domus. I was so sorry, one thing I forgot. In case you guys are applying for a master which is portfolio based, so apart from the four I mentioned before, and you want a couple of indications on what to put in the portfolio, please ask we will give you a couple of indications to you know, make it the best. We usually suggest not to put too many projects anyway in the portfolio. I would go, let's say for five, uh, maximum six project in the portfolio. If you have a different background than what you're applying for, please, also uh, share one project of your background because that's interesting for us to have a look at what you are able to do even in a different field, okay? So that's super important. That's something we're super interested in seeing your background and what you're able to do. Uh, then if you do also have questions on the skills required for every master, feel free to ask. Uh, we will provide you with a couple more information also on the softwares who are generally used for every master, okay? Um, so whatever, really, just feel free to ask. Thank you, Paola. No problem. Presentation uh, and all the instructions were very informative. Um, I don't see that there are any questions at the moment, but I'm imagining when students start working on them, we will receive a lot more questions. Definitely. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, if no one has any questions uh, right now, then I guess we can go ahead and end the webinar here. Okay. <laughs> um, so again, it has been a pleasure meeting you, Jessica, and uh, working with you guys. So hope uh, to see uh, one student uh, coming to Domus Academy. Really hope so. And uh, again, thank you for attending and uh, see you soon. <laughs>
Yes. Thank you, Paola, and thank you everyone who attended the webinar. We look forward to receiving your applications and your portfolios very soon. Great. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.